So we want to bring in NBC10 political commentator Sue O'Connell to the conversation. So I want to start with this recent Fox News poll. So President Biden leads Trump here by two percentage points. It's a three-point shift in support for Biden since the poll was last held in May. This is the first time Biden has been in the lead since October, but this isn't the only bit of good news for Biden. That same poll says voters listed the future of democracy as their top concern and ranked a candidate's integrity over age as a list of what's important. All right, all this is good news for the campaign. What has it been doing right to get here? Yeah, so a reminder that polls are just snapshots of what's happening right now. And right now, regular people are starting to pay attention to the race for the White House. So what are they seeing? Well, Donald Trump found guilty on 34 felony counts. And after months of strong economic data, people may be believing that the economy is good or improving. And Biden has taken some action on the border and immigration. Now, add to that that Trump sounds a little bit more and more unhinged every time he's in public, and Biden's been making very limited controlled appearances, but hitting the swing states with some strong ads, and the result is that Biden inches ahead just for right now. Right. This always changes, right? One way Donald Trump could perhaps reverse his fortunes is a good VP pick. Let's uh, elevate your position here. If you were running his campaign, <laughs> who, would, who would you be pushing him to choose at this point? So, of course, the trick here is I really don't think anyone can persuade Donald Trump. But if I could, I would probably be pushing him to pick Ambassador Nikki Haley. But that's probably not going to happen. So let's look at the reality of what could happen. My second pick would be former candidate for president, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. Burgum is sort of like a Mike Pence 2.0. He's a traditional Republican like Pence. He's a businessman like Trump. And he's got a lot of money, which he can put into the campaign. So while he may not have a lot of name recognition, he's also not a showboater, which Trump might like. So I think a VP Burgum would be the adult on the ticket. Okay, interesting. And we've got this debate next week. Biden and Trump scheduled to face off for the first time this year. Let's say you were a moderator here. What do you think needs to be asked at this debate? Do you understand the question? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm certain I'm, they'll have to say that a few times. But seriously, I'd ask how Biden and Trump assess the state of our democracy in the United States. I'd ask how they would protect our voting systems, how they would encourage voters to get out and cast votes, how their campaigns and administrations plan on fighting mis- and disinformation. And internationally, what the U.S. relationships with China, Saudi Arabia, and Russia should look like. And more importantly, here in the United States, how they will each be able to accomplish their goals if Congress continues to be unable to get bills to their desk to be signed into law. All right, Sue, thank you. As always, we appreciate You're it. You're welcome.